Hello and welcome to another lesson in the creation of our school management system. This is the lesson 13 in the creation of our school management system. Now, in our previous lesson, we look at how to set up the teacher's MS data table for MS information. So, in this lesson, we are going to move straight forward and begin to design our user forms that we are going to use in this system. So, if you are new to the channel, kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell for all so that you receive more interesting videos from us. Okay, so let's quickly go to student details. So let's quickly locate student details there. Okay, so we have it here. So let's open it. So we have our form here. We have our student detail table here. So the next thing that we are going to do is to quickly go to developer tab here. Click on the developer tab then we go to visual basic so when you click on the visual basic this is what you are going to have okay so let's quickly go to insert then let's insert user form so this is where we are going to do our front end design so let's try to extend this one let's extend the user form to this side so the number of uh, fields that you have on your form determine the size of your form so let's move this form to this side now this is the toolbox that we are going to use for this training so let's quickly insert a frame so you start from the beginning here the top left corner here then you drag it to the down right corner here okay so let's position it somewhere around here so we have our frame there without any challenge okay so we are now going to insert our labels and the various fields that we are going to use so when we go back to uh when we go back to the the, the, the student detail table here when we come back to the student detail table here we have 10 columns we have 10 columns at the top here so we are going to insert 10 labels on our user form so let's quickly go back to the user form and continue our work so let's come to this side here this is label the a there is for label so let's just tap on it then you left click and hold then we move it to wherever we want it to be for us so i think this is okay so you just control c to copy then control v to paste Okay, so I'll just move this one to that side like this. Okay, so I'll come again, pick another one, move to that side again. Good, so let's control C and control V again to paste like that. So control C, control V to paste again. So we should have five labels here. So let's count one, two, three, four, five. So we need another five here. We need another five labels here. So control C to copy, control V to paste. So let's move it to the top. Then control C to copy, control V to paste. Another control C to copy, control V to paste like that i think we should bring that one down a little bit good so control c to copy control v to paste so we have something like this let's bring it down a little bit please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you will be able to understand all that we are coming to do in these lessons all right so let's control c to copy again then control v to paste to have the 10th label there okay so we have all our labels at the top there successfully without any challenge 
okay so let's try to position them well on the user form okay so let's just come to the top here you left click and hold let's drag it to select all then you press ctrl and hold on your keyboard then we select all these two at once so we have them there now let's right click a oh, sheet so let's select all again let's select all like this then you press and hold control on your keyboard we select all this as well okay so let's right click then we select properties so we have our various properties that we'll be using in this lesson here so let's go to special effects let's move straight to special effect then let's change it to raised it shouldn't be sunken so that we can see our labels here very well okay so we need to do some necessary adjustment here so let's move this one to this side a little bit let's move this one to to the other side a little bit i think we are good to go now then let's come to this one to let's move it to the other side a little bit then we come to the fifth one here let's drag that one too and position it nicely on the form okay i think the form is having some uh, good look now okay so let's select all this here let's bring it closer to the other one a little bit okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is to insert our text boxes we are going to insert our text box so this is the text box so you click on it like this then you come to this side so you left click and hold then you drag it to wherever you think will be okay for you so we have the first one there so that one is test box one but before we continue with the with the test box let's come to these ones let's change their names so that we will know what we are doing so when you tap on it like that you come to labels you double tap then we rename it admission number so adm number like that then we come to the second one here then we name it name so you double tap to rename it to name like that then we come to the third one too you double tap you select caption here please is the caption that we are changing so let's name that one to class then you hit enter on your computer keyboard then we move to the next one that one is going to be gender so you hit enter then we move to the next one that one is going to be the date of birth so dob sorry let's clear that one first dob then you enter let's come to the next one it's going to be date of admission that one is going to be date of admission so doa so let's go to the label here sorry the caption here so doa then you enter okay so we move to the next one that one is going to be our admission fee so adm fee like that then we move to the next one but before we move to that one let's change something here it's adm good so we move to another one here then we change that one also to guardian that is going to be our guardian label so we have that one to the perfectly so the next one is going to be The next one is going to be address the next one is going to be the address to so address we have it there like that then the last label is going to be the contact so let's come to the caption again then let's change it to contact so we have the name for our various labels the up and run okay so in our next lesson we'll look at how to add the various test boxes the various combo boxes onto this user form to make 
our system runs smoothly without any challenge so till our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching this video and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button for all as we wait for our next interesting lesson so bye bye